Tom, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Mr. Cunningham, the tour was fine, Miss Greer. So, um, how's your lovely wife, Judy? Actually, it's Trudy. And we're in the midst of a bitter divorce. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you know, I ran into a colleague of yours, John Perkins. He spoke so highly of you. He should. He stole my wife. <laughs> He's probably wearing my robe right now. <laughs> well, you know, this segues nicely into my after-school enrichment program. Have you given it any thought? I've declined that program three times, Miss Greer. So, no, I haven't given it any thought. Okay, if you need some time, that's fine. <laughs> Look, it's our new vice principal, Mr. Steve Hightower. Steve, this is Supervisor Cunningham. Hey, 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 what's happening, man? How you doing? Hey, let me ask you something. That wouldn't happen to be your vintage Ferrari parked outside, is it? It sure is. 1971, 365 Daytona. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm into exotic cars, too. I drive a 96 Miata. <laughs> Steve, I started out as a vice principal. A Ferrari just might be in your future. You know what? Why don't we uh, finish this meeting on the road? Oh, man. Great! <laughs> hey, I'll just grab my jacket. No, 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 no way. Hold, hold, hold on. Sorry about that, but you know, it's a two seater. You know, just like your Miata. <laughs> Except it's handmade in Italy. And just like Big Daddy, it's built to turn heads. <laughs> Mr. Cunningham, right this way. Uh, call me Tom. <laughs> you, you got it, Tom. <laughs> Tom, hey! <laughs> hey, Regina. Steve, I have been looking for you all day, but I guess you were too busy kicking it with Tom Cunningham, huh? Oh, come on, Regina. Calm down now. I couldn't even shake this man. I think it's probably because he recently got divorced. Right now, that brother a little needy. Mm. So needy, he just approved a major grant for your new music program? <laughs> Well, I be damned. Look at him. Well, a... <laughs> Regina, don't look at me like that. I just happened to mention over a game of golf that the kids could use some new instruments. Well, this just proves my point. Cunningham is running an old boys club, and now you're a part of it. Oh, come on, Regina, get off of it. Ain't no such thing as no old boys club. Besides, you know, both of us had great ideas. Both the programs was worthy. Right, it's just that one was properly submitted, cost less, serve more students, and then the other one was just casually mentioned by someone with a pee-pee. 